Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Um, part 2 of um, the apple pie. Um, yeah, I didn't say this was going to be a, a quick process, it's been a good couple of months now, and um, yeah, it's taken longer than I anticipated uh, to knock us out. It's not going to be quite as uh, in-depth and long as uh, part 1, but basically, inside uh, this little package is the answer to all my prayers. I want this keyboard to talk to the Raspberry Pi, that I still don't have it. Again, whenever I get money, I'll, I'll pick one up. Um, but how I was thinking, well, how on earth am I going to get this talking basically via a standard sort of USB in in interface? And um, there was a couple of ways out there. There was a couple of very sort of basement-esque hacks that a couple of people have done. But it's a lot of work, and to be honest, I'm not that good with um, a soldering iron. I'm not very experienced when it comes to that sort of stuff. So uh, I pretty I wanted to avoid that as much as possible. But I knew it had to be done, otherwise this project basically couldn't be done. And then I was looking on uh, Tindy, I believe it, the website is called. It's basically where independent sort of enthusiasts, I guess you could say. Um, build their own stuff and then just set it set it loose basically and if anybody likes the idea then they they can buy one and um they'll ship it off to me and uh, well I came across this it's a little thing called a retro connector and basically it does exactly what I I want this to do it is is to get the keyboard talk into a USB st standard sort of in interface and this does it it's a little tiny board uh, based on the Arduino and it just converts an Apple II keyboard, whether it's Apple IIc or Apple IIe, there's a couple of models available, converts that keyboard into a USB keyboard. Simple as that, plug and play, fancy and lovely. But um, this came from America, so uh, little did I know that um, because he listed it as merchandise and he put the value as £45, it's um, a... a Handling charge occurred basically. Um, the government just take as much money as they want to basically and call it a handling fee. That's basically uh, what it what it is. So I had to pay an extra fifteen pound to get this thing through customs, which is a little bit annoying. So I've ended up paying a lot of money for this um, money that I didn't really want to pay about twice as much as what a Raspberry Pi would cost me, which is slightly ridiculous. But that's enough of me ranting now. Let's get into it. So. I still haven't got the the uh, Apple T Apple T Apple Two C uh, hooked up to a car battery yet. Um, I still haven't got my hands on crocodile clips that are small enough to fit around pins on the power supply. But um, yeah, this this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated, and I have been spending my money uh, elsewhere as of late. But anyway, in the package we've got a USB cable standard sort of affair, and the retro connector itself. These things are handmade, and uh, there she is inside the little anti-static wrapper, and uh, there is, I believe it's based on Teeny, which is a little Arduino uh, based um, board, which is pretty awesome. I'm not 100% sure how we oh, there we go. Awesome stuff. And he did ship the right uh, revision, which is lucky. Would have been a bit of a nightmare if he sent the 2E, 2E uh, model. That could have caused a little bit of hassle. And this has been an absolute twat coming out of the bag. But there she is. Basically, that's the connector that the Apple IIs use. Um, you plug your Apple II keyboard into that end. Plug this USB cable into this end and um, fingers crossed it should work no problems whatsoever um, in a anything Windows, OS X, um, Raspbian, um, anything so I'm going to have to rip the Apple II open now and um, well plug the keyboard in so I got you on a slightly better uh, camera angle there so uh, let's go
Okay, so it's a super, super simple thing to uh, get open. Six screws, and uh, basically the whole top panel comes off. You've already seen this before if you've seen part one. If you haven't, I highly recommend you go check it out. And uh, there we are, the Apple IIc. I'm still a little bit undecided of what I'm going to do, where's, where the Raspberry Pi is going to go, whether it's going to go where the power supply is going to be, floppy drive, how I'm going to get um, the ports cut out, because if you can see at the back there, it's a different piece of plastic, and that's where all the ports are cut out. So I'm debating whether to maybe mould another bit of plastic and then cut it out, because old plastic gets seriously brittle and just snaps, basically. So I'm not 100% confident in cutting out of this. Um, and then I go back to the idea of maybe soldering stuff and feeding wires through one of these holes. But that's all for the future, guys. Um, I'm not 100% sure when part three is coming. Um, basically, whenever I get a wad of cash next, which could be two weeks, it could be three months, I, I don't know. Um, and anyway, there is the Apple II keyboard. There is the connector I was telling you about. And um, this is irrelevant for the rest of the video. Put it down on the floor, and uh, well, let's get this plugged into this. The moment of truth. I am so worried. It's getting power. Oh, that's really awesome as well. The little uh, power LED comes on. That's really really cool. Give it an extra little edge of authenticity. But does the keyboard work? Oh yes. That is so awesome, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. I love the clicky style. It's so amazing. I can't spell for absolute crap, but... Wow. It's an Apple II keyboard working on a Mac Pro, guys. Have you ever seen that in your life before? <laughs> oh, yes. This is amazing. And that is a huge, huge step forward in this whole Apple II Raspberry Pi idea. Oh, yes. Incredible, guys. I am so, so happy. Because because these things are handmade, I'm just you just don't know whether you got a bad one. And after paying all this money, it would just have been a nightmare if it didn't work. So, I really, really hope you enjoyed uh, part two, guys. Um, part three will be, hopefully, um, as long as nothing else now goes uh, skew if. Um... It'll be the Raspberry Pi unboxing and setup, and then we'll start to get to work on how we're going to place the thing in, in the casing. But guys, part two, we've got the Apple II, and we've got the keyboard talking to a USB interface. Wow, this is so awesome. Bye bye guys, see you next time.